In this video, we will be designing a synchronous counter using T flip flop. Counter will be a mod 5 counter. So, the first step to design a mod 5 counter is to find out how many number of flip flops are required in order to achieve this mod 5 state. So, first, what is the total number of states required? It is mod 5, therefore, we need 5 states. Now, we have to find out how many number of T flip flops are required. So, let us assume we are starting with 2. If it is 2, what is 2 power 2? 2 power 2 equal to 4. So, only 4 states are achievable. That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Only 4 states we can achieve. But how many states do we want? We want 5. Therefore, 2 number of bits or 2 flip flops are not enough in order to achieve this mod 5 counters. Then, we have to go for 3 bit of data that is 2 power 3 which is equal to 8 that is from 0 0 0 up to 1 1 1. How many states do we have now? We have 8 possible states but how many do we want? We want only 5 therefore we need a minimum of 3 bit data that is we need 3 T flip flops in order to achieve a mod 5 counter therefore 3 flip flops. So this is a First step, we have decided how many number of flip-flops required. Let us verify whether it is right or wrong. So, always remember n should be less than or equal to 2 power n. What is n? n is nothing but the modulus value, which is nothing but 5. So, 5 less than or equal to 2 power. What is the total number of bits that we decided? 3. Therefore, we said that we will be using 3 flip-flops. So, 2 power 3 is nothing but 8. Therefore, 5 is less than or equal to 8. Yes, the condition is satisfied. Therefore, we can use 3 flip-flops in order to design a mod 5 counter. And now, since it is a mod 5 counter, we have to draw a state diagram having 5 states. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. How many states we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and all these rest of the states 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1 are invalid. We will be using only these 5 states. So, here is a state diagram for the same. And next is step 3. Right now, the question is to design a synchronous mod 5 counter specifically using T flip-flop. Therefore, we are writing the excitation table of T flip-flop. When the present state is 0 and next state is 0. Similarly, when the present state is 1, next state is 1. There is no change. Therefore, T should be equal to 0. When the present state is 0, next is 1 or present state is 1, next is 0. During these two transition from the present state to next state, the bit is varying. Therefore, it is toggled. Therefore, T should be equal to 1 in both the cases. So, here is the excitation table of T flip-flop. So, using this excitation table and the state diagram, we will be filling out next step transition table. So, here is a transition table. We have three bit of inputs. So, QA, QB, QC we are considering. So, if it is three bit, then it should start with 0, 0, 0 and end at 1, 1, 1. So, similarly 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 up to 1, 1, 1. And we know that what the next state is going to be because we already we have drawn the state diagram. So, we have 0, 0, 0. What is the next state? 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have only 5 states from 1, 0, 0. We will be moving on to 0, 0, 0. So, if we are at 0, 0, 0, what is the next state? It should be 0, 0, 1. 0, 1. Right now you are at 0, 0, 1. What should be the next state? 0, 1, 0. 1, 0. Right now you are in 0, 1, 0. What should be the next state? 0, 1, 1. If you are in 0, 1, 1, what should be the next state? 1, 0, 0. If you are in 1, 0, 0, what should be the next state? You have to move to 0, 0, 0. And rest of the states are invalid. So, now you have to use only T flip flops. We need 3 flip flops. That is what we decided. So, we will have TA, TB, TC. We have to find out the expressions for TA, TB and TC. So, in order to do that, 
the first step we have to use this excitation table and fill ta tb and tc how can we fill ta what is the present state of qa what is the next state of qa we have to consider those two and then write ta let us assume if the present state is zero next state is zero what will be t t will be zero present state is zero next state is zero so what will be t t will be zero present state is zero next state is zero t will be zero present state is zero next state is zero t will be zero present state is zero next state is one present state is zero next state is one what is t t is one present state is one next state is zero present state is one next state is zero what will be t t will be one and for rest we are marking with invalid in the same way we have to consider qb qb plus one present state is zero next state is zero therefore tb will be zero present state is zero next state is one therefore it is one in the same way we have to fill the complete tb column and similarly tc column so this is the next step so right now ta in the same way we have filled tb in the same way we have filled tc so the complete table is done so we have found the transition from the present state to next state and after finding out the transition using the present state and next state we try to write the inputs for ta tb and tc so now what we have to do we have to find out the expression for ta tb and tc let us do that so in order to do that what we have to do we have to plot a k map so what are all the three input variables qa qb qc therefore three inputs therefore three variable k map qa qb qc and we have to find the expression for ta so therefore we are taking all these values into a k map so 0 0 0 1 so 0 0 0 1 and then 1 with all don't cares 1 with all don't cares when we try to group the group which is highlighted with green forms one group and with red forms the other group only two groups are possible therefore when we try to write expression for it only this term qa is common we cannot take any common input variables from qb or qz either in any column therefore we can just write qa as such when we compare this red color grouping we cannot take any variable from qa which is common to both these two min terms but when we look into the column wise 1 1 therefore qb and qc we can consider it as its expression so when we write ta qa will be one term plus qb qc will be the other term so qa plus qb qc becomes the expression for ta similarly we have to do it for tb same qa qb qc is going to be the input and we have to plot all these variables here so 0 1 0 1 0 don't care don't care don't care so if we try to group only this group is possible there is no common variable this way when we consider these two columns 0 1 and 1 1 so only this variable what is that qb qc therefore qc is common we are just taking qc therefore tb is going to be equal to qc similarly we have to find expression for tc same input variable qa qb qc and we have tc right now let us plot it is 1 1 1 1 so 1 1 1 and 1 0 don't care don't care and don't care so when we try to group all these ones together only qa bar is going to be common therefore qa bar and in column wise we cannot take any variables common to all these four min terms therefore we are assuming qa bar alone tc will be equal to qa bar so this becomes the expression for tc so right now we have three expressions ta tb and tc we have derived all three expressions next step we have to draw a diagram so now what did we decide initially we said that we have three bit inputs and we need three flip flops to do that what was a flip flop been question to use so we have given that the flip flop should be a t flip flop it is given in the question itself therefore we are assuming t flip flop itself therefore we are drawing three t flip flops with ta tb tc as input because that that is what we are driving and similarly it will have qa qa bar qb qb bar qc and qc bar as output so now let us start drawing the combinational logic now let us convert all these expression into logical diagram so first we'll take tc 
TC is nothing but QA bar. So inverted version of QA. So here it is QA bar. Which is nothing but TC. What about TB? TB is just QC. TB is just QC. TB is just QC. What about TA? TA is nothing but QA. We have to R with QB and with QC. So this is QB. Already we have a wire from QC. We let us take QC. We have to and it together. Therefore, we'll have QB and QC. We have to or these terms together with QA. That will be the input acting as DA. We need clock for all these three flip flops. The clock has been given. Since it is a synchronous counter, we are giving the same clock to all three inputs. So here the design is again digitized for ease of understanding and clarity. I hope the explanation was clear. Thanks for watching the video.